Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a dewy look using my Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette. It literally comes with like every color possible to use on your everyday looks. And you can make it dramatic or neutral, depends on what you want to do. And for this dewy look, I usually don't do dewy looks. My face just kind of looks dewy because of my texture. But um, this Fix Plus by MAC really did the job. It really helped me create this dewy look. I keep saying dewy look, but this is a dewy look, so. Um, yeah, and I used some cocoa lashes, my favorite cocoa lashes. So this look contains some burgundies, pinks, browns, some shimmer on your eyelids. I think it's a really fresh look, a really good um, eyeshadow look for a dewy skin. If you guys want to learn how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. So now to conceal my eyelids, I'm going to use the uh, Alley Girl Pro Conceal in Natural. With the... Uh, BH Cosmetics 129 brush and it looks like this To set my eyelids, I'm going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Translucent Okay, so for today's eye look, we're going to use a Modern Renaissance ABH palette for my crease, I'm going to apply Burnt Orange, which is this one, wait, this one right here. So I'm applying this one, I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. so we're going to apply it right underneath, kind of in the middle of the shadow we just applied and where there's no shadow yet. So now with the Morphe M433 brush, kind of another blending brush, quite shorter, a little bit shorter than the one I just used. I'm going to apply this shade right here. We're just gonna apply this one on the outer corner and just pack it on. my M518, the one I used before. I'm just going to quickly blend. I'm going to be using the M330 brush to blend out the brown that I just applied. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a little bit more pink and I'm going to apply Love Letter. And we're just going to apply that on in the middle part of my eyelid. So for the last eyeshadow we're applying, I think it's the last eyeshadow, it's going to be, I'm going to be applying it with the Morphe M124. And it's just a flat brush. I'm going to apply Primavera. I'm just going to apply it on the outer corner of my eyelid and connect it with Love Letter. So to prime my face, I'm going to be using this NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer in yellow. So now that I look like a grease ball, I'm going to be applying the Too Faced Primer Poreless and I'm going to be applying it where I get most of my pores. So now I'm going to be applying my Fit Me Maybelline Foundation in the color 220. So now I'm just going to dot this all around my face. So to blend it in, I'm going to be using my Morphe M439. This 
brush, it gave me no streaks. It was my first time using it. So I really suggest you guys get this foundation brush. So now I'm going to go in with my Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and the color Ivory. Looks like this. I just bought this yesterday too, so it's my first time using it. I'm going to continue to highlight my face, the high points of my face. So I'm going to be using this Morphe brush, and it's just a flat brush. It already has some product in it, on it. And with this one, I'm going to clean my eyeshadow. So now that I cleaned my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and blend in the rest of the concealer and take away this pink. So this concealer actually dries up faster than my Maybelline one. And I didn't know that, so now I have to quickly blend this out. So to bake my concealer, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. And this powder is kind of messy, so I suggest you guys get like a bowl and just See, it's quite messy. So just pour some in here, as much as you think you'll need, and start baking. But first, I like to go in really quick under my eyes to get rid of the creases before applying this. I'm never neat with this, so sorry. I just apply whatever is on the sponge. I like applying some on my um, smile lines so they set and throughout the day my foundation is increased in there. I look like Santa. I look like Santa. <laughs> so I'm going, to, I'm going to let this set for about 5 to 8 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly powder her off. So now I'm going to get my Rimmel London State Map Long blah, blah, blah. Rimmel London Stay matte long lasting pressed powder in the color translucent. It looks a little beat up, but this is the color. And I'm going to just apply that where I'm applying my um, bronzer so it doesn't get muddy. So now I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep, the one I usually use in all my videos. With this Morphe brush, it doesn't have a number, it just looks like this. We're gonna do that fishy face. Bring it to your temples. Really bronze up your forehead. And now I'm just gonna put some on my jaw to make me look, to make my face look a little slimmer. Okay. So I'm not done with I'm not done cleaning my bronzer, but I'm going to move on to contour my nose. And I like using the Morphe M222. M222. And it looks like this. It's kind of pointed and fluffy. So I just dip that into the same bronzer and contour my nose. So to um, I already blended out my nose contour with this brush that I used to take off my baking powder. But I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more. So to clean my contour, I'm going to be use, I'm going to be using the ABH contour kit and I'm going to apply the shade banana with this <laughs> with this Morphe M460 brush. Maybe people use it to contour. It looks like a good contour brush, but I just use it to clean my um, contour. Now that I have that done, I'm just gonna quickly blend it in. So for blush, I'm going to be using the MAC blush in M220, the one I usually use. So it's really pink, as you can see, but I don't use much of it. I just tap out literally everything. Now I'm going to be applying it on the apples of my cheeks.
And then it just made my pimple stand out a little <laughs> bit more. I love that. I love when blushes do that. I'm going to be applying MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to do a few spritz. So now for um, highlight, I'm going to be using my Glow Kit, ABH Glow Kit in Gleam. So this is, looks kind of dirty, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be using Mimosa and Crushed Pearl together. These two right here. And to apply it, I'm going to be using my Morphe M310 brush, and it's just a fan brush. I like applying my Fix Plus before my highlight to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to be using this side of the Urban Decay blending brush and I'm going to go back in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be using the color Vermeer if I'm saying that right and it's this one right here and I'm going to be applying that in my inner corners I'm getting this shade right here okay and I'm going to apply that shade on my bottom lash line Not the outer part of my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Morphe 208 brush, and it's just like it looks like this little short, dense brush. And I'm just gonna blend out my eyeshadow so it doesn't look so clean, you can say. I mean, I don't want it to look messy, but I don't want it to look like that. Now going to uh, Primavera, once again, I'm going to apply that on this half of my bottom lash line. So to make my highlighter a little bit more intense, I'm going to go back in with Mimosa and Crushed Pearl, but this time I'm going to be spraying Fix Plus, just a few spritz. Going back in. Once I'm done applying all my highlight, I like going with the Morphe M400. And it's some it's a really big fluffy brush. And I like just getting rid of the powder that's left over and going around my entire face. And one more time, spraying my face with the Fix Plus. Off camera, I applied my Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. So they come in this box right here. And this NYX eyeliner, just a line I, I didn't do a wing this time. And I applied some mascara. And I also applied the Marc Jacobs, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's an eyeliner. For your eyes obviously so now moving on to my lips i'm going to be using the nyx 860 peekaboo lip liner and it looks like this it's a very light color i'm not sure if you guys can tell okay so on top of my lip liner i'm going to apply the kylie gloss and literally We're going to be applying this lip gloss on top of the literally lip gloss. And yeah, that's how it looks. Very glossy. So this is a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and were able to recreate this look. Um, if you guys do recreate this look, then feel free to tag me on any of my social media. I'll be more than happy to see those pictures. It will really make me feel special. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.